Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Destroyers. And actually, one of the designers, Jesse Wright, gave me the copy during development. Uh, they had decided that this would be targeted uh, at adults and kids, and he wanted to do a little play testing. He had my kids help him. I had actually never played the game, but they played with him for a while and, and, and gave him some feedback on how it was going. And uh, to what extent I, they, that was incorporated, I don't know. But the copy came out, and he, he, he wanted to give the two of them a copy to play, and also uh, taught me how to play. We played it some. And um, the last game, I think, that I reviewed from Jesse, uh, and I think Sen was also designer on it. It's probably not in the box, but those guys usually just, uh, yeah, Sen, Sen, uh, Sen Foon Lim and Jesse Wright uh, was Korra, and Korra's fantastic. I really enjoyed how evocative and fun Korra was in sort of a tactical battle game, and in some ways I understand this to be a, a lightweight version of that, and really what you're doing is it's a head-to-head -head two-player game. You're going versus each other, and uh, um, uh, Goku versus Hit, and uh, you're trying to essentially knock the other player off the the arena, or you can also uh, win by just getting a certain amount of hits. Each player has sort of three power levels, and as you knock them out, they're getting knocked down uh, through the power levels. Uh, but they also get stronger, which has a nice rubber band feel for keeping the play working. In terms of how the game works, you have a hand of hit card, uh, of, well, and they're not hit cards, they're your cards. You have one that says attack, and then you'll have four others. You can't tell from this side, but they are there's normal and advanced ones, uh, and you can uh, draw advanced ones into your hand by uh, playing a card that allows you to like power up. And so the nuance here is basically there is an advantage card, and one player starts with the advantage, and then as you're playing, one of the action cards can take the advantage. And sort of the way this works is you are going to play based on your power, two or three cards to the table, we reveal, and if one player attacks, the player with the advantage hits. If two players attack, if both players attack, the other player hits, sort of like a, a, a rock, rock, paper, scissors, but basically the, a bluffing game of who's gonna attack or not, and if you both attack, it'll flip. So essentially what's going on is you're, you're playing this little game of playing cards to get advantages prior to combat, move, power up, that kind of thing, um, to take the initiative. And then as you're playing them, you're building up what kind of combat you can have, close range or far range at the bottom here, that all get triggered when you attack. So your, 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 your hand is sort of getting bigger as you're waiting for somebody to play the attack card and resolve that. So it's a little bit of a bluffing, push your luck, how far, how many more attacks can I layer in, um, and movement and so, sort of sort of until one of us triggers the attack and am I going to trigger now, am I going to trigger later, and how's it going to work? It takes a little bit of time to grok that back and forth, but once you do, you have this little tactical game where you're moving, you're doing a hit, you're trying to jockey and not go off the edge, uh, and obviously these things are awesome. Um, but I think on this one, whereas with Korra, it, the complexity felt rich and fitting to the theme, when I look at this game, and I sort of think of it as a lighter, just head-to-head -head combat game, especially one that's targeted at younger kids, um, it feels a little bit too sort of fiddly. Fiddly in terms of the top of the cards and the bottom of the cards and, 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 and what you're playing, and then the, this whole thing about initiative and who has it. There's a lot of order of uh, operation stuff that can sort of go on that um, slows it down a little bit. It sort of pulls away from a game that... Uh, I think could have been more evocative of the fight into a little bit more of like the card play. And you end up really just thinking about the cards more than you think of it. You're not really thinking about the cool actions these guys are doing. You're thinking about the little hand of cards and what hand of cards they played. Um, it works, it's functional. Um, you know, what I would say is uh, my kids did like it and enjoy it. Though once we had this, I saw them trying to teach it to other games and other kids and sort of stumbling on it a little bit because of these like, card mechanic nuances. So ultimately, um, com you know, components are fine. Uh, there's a couple typos, but the, um, it, I feel like it, it got scaled down for younger players, but could have been sort of 
scrubbed a little bit more to, to be a little bit more intuitive of, to play. Uh, so this is Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Destroyers. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.